Videos recorded by U.S. Navy personnel have added a new layer of evidence to the current national debate about UFOs. For the first time, radar images recorded inside a Navy ship have confirmed the presence of several unknown objects that swarmed around the ship for hours. I team reporter George Knapp here with a story that broke today on Mystery Wire. Thanks, Brian. Over the past three years or so, the public has been able to see several astounding images of what certainly qualify as UFOs during encounters with the U.S. Navy. There's no question that the Pentagon has censored data to go along with the photos and videos, but none of that information has been leaked or otherwise released, that is, until today. For two long hours on the night of July 15, 2019, the crew of the USS Omaha detected on multiple sensor systems unknown objects that surrounded the ship as it moved through ocean waters west of San Diego. One of the objects, a self-illuminated sphere at least six feet in diameter, flew alongside the Omaha for an extended period and was observed through a thermal sensor in the ship's combat center. Filmmaker Jeremy Corbell released released the Navy video weeks ago and says similar events were reported by eight other Navy ships in the same area over three days. Mark Varian range. There was numerous warships that are having similar um, coor appearing, it appears to be coordinated interaction. And, uh, and, and, this, and this whole series was within this kind of, I'd say circumference of 100 miles and, and there was up to 50 to 100 contacts. In the last three years, the Pentagon has reluctantly confirmed the legitimacy of UFO images captured by Navy ships and air crews, including these photos taken off the coast of Virginia and the better known videos, the so-called Tic Tac incident and the gimbal. <laughs> But other than the images themselves, there's been no release of sensor data to buttress these cases. There is now. Well, if you can write a general that long where we're at, uh, is there and then, uh, the number of contacts you got, and the force and speed leaders off them. Over a period of hours, crew members on the USS Omaha, which is located in the center of this radar screen, monitored the approach of the unknown objects, as many as 14 at one point, all around the ship. Two different radar systems watched the objects and estimated their speed. Track 781 just sped up to 46 knots, 50 knots, closing in. That one's pretty much perfectly zero, zero, zero relative, right? Yeah. Corbell obtained the images from sources he declines to identify. The Pentagon's UAP task force considers the Omaha spheres to be true unknowns. The ships that were under observation by the unknowns were unable to track where they came from or where they disappeared to. The Omaha sphere appears to have vanished into the ocean. What was splashed? splashed. At that point, it also vanished from all sensors. In one video snippet, nine of the objects were seen around the Omaha, but two of them dropped off, somehow invisible to two radar systems. And it supports the hypothesis that these are not just a balloon dropping into the water, or it's not um, something that is easily explained. These are true unidentified in mass number, and we'll talk more about that, but that's what we're showing people, where you have radar data that goes with FLIR data what everybody has been belly aching for. So here you go. If these are foreign made high tech drones, how do they fly with no wings, rotors, or detectable exhaust? Do they possess some sort of cloaking ability? The sensor data combined with the video images raises difficult questions. These are unidentified. We don't know what they are. Everybody tries to corner me in saying they're aliens or something like this. I have no idea. Hey, hey, track the best you can. George Knapp, 8 News Now. The video of the radar screens consists of four clips that were spliced together to show that this went on over a period of time. Today, less than four hours after that video was made public by us, a Pentagon spokesperson confirmed it is legit, that it was recorded by Navy personnel and is in the hands of the UAP task force. That's the unit created to prepare a report for Congress that is due next month.